What's up guys, welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick as always. I'm obviously very, very excited about tonight's review because it is uh, probably going to be amazing, uh, judging by the title, which you already know. Um, this is a brand new beer that just came out. It's a collaboration between Hill Farmstead and Alpine, and of all things, it's a hoppy beer. Uh, you would never have guessed it, I know. Um, yeah, this just came out uh, basically last week, uh, and I went up to Vermont to go to a festival, and it just happened to go on tap uh, basically the day before I arrived. So I was able to get some growler fills and obviously super excited because Alpine for the longest time and even to still today, I think makes some of the best hoppy beers on the entire West Coast uh, in the country. Um, so yeah, especially in California, maybe there's a couple breweries now that are emerging that I think might give them a run for their money. But as far as the West Coast is concerned, for many, many years, Alpine has been the best hoppy brewery, uh, in my opinion. And for many, many years, Hill Farmstead, in my opinion, was the best hoppy brewery. Uh, so to see these two breweries combine and make a hoppy beer for the first time is pretty epic. Um, and it's called Mutual Admiration, which I think is perfect. Obviously, Alpine is more or less one of the pioneers, I guess you could call them, uh, in, in hoppy beers. Uh, they were back in 1999, I believe, is when they opened. So it's pretty long time. And if you look at the scheme of uh, craft beer and how it's, it's changed, but uh, anyway, so, so this beer, uh, they brewed together, I guess Pat and his wife, um, Pat the owner from Alpine and his wife came out to uh, the East Coast on a summer vacation in August uh, and just last month and they decided to brew this beer together. So pretty awesome stuff, just there's really no hype about it. It wasn't like a big announcement, it was just hey, we brewed a beer together and uh, it's going on for growler fills. That's pretty much it. And uh, as far as the information about this beer, guys, um, yeah, it says this IPA is truly a collaboration of styles, techniques, and philosophies resulting in a harmonious cross-country hop forward beer that could only be the product of true mutual admiration. I think that's really great. Um, there's this picture of Sean and Pat in the new Hill Farmstead Brewery. And it is hopped with Nelson, Mosaic, Citra, and Amarillo. Amazing combination, <laughs> obviously. And it is 6.4%, uh, so it's a single IPA. Uh, and that's pretty much all I need to say about it, guys. Um, it's obviously only a few days old. I just got back from my trip up to Vermont with my dad. We had a great time, as usual. And this was filled... Uh, today's Tuesday, we got a Thursday, so this was five days old as of review. And I tried to get this review shot immediately so that hopefully when you're seeing this, you guys can maybe trade for it if you weren't aware of its release. And of course, guys, I've had this out of the fridge for about 25 minutes now. Um, you know, it's going into fall now, so the beers are warming up a little slower uh, than they normally would be in the summer in the house. And Sean recommends that you consume these growlers a week from uh, when they were filled, which would be October 1st, which is just a couple days away now. It's hard to believe. So let's go ahead and get into the review of the Hill Farmstead and Alpine Mutual Admiration. Let's get a nice, steady, strong pour here. All right. Good stuff. Pretty much just dumped it in there, but that works for getting a really nice head on it i guess all right guys got the mutual admiration poured out here and uh beautiful beautiful beer as you could see when i poured it it had a lot of head to it it's down to about a solid nice one finger head and um wow it just is a gorgeous looking beer i don't know if you guys can see what's happening here but there's uh ridiculous lacing going proper glassware for this one ridiculous lacing already um it is like just a really creamy looking, slightly off-white head. Uh, medium size to smaller bubbles, uh, pretty tightly packed. Let's get a look at the color on this. It is just gorgeous as you can see. Wow, holy crap. This looks 
just like one of the deepest, thickest, richest, um, golden, dark orange, um, like burnt orange, honey, uh, almost brown towards the middle. It looks a lot like a uh, really, really hazy treehouse beer or something like that. Totally, totally opaque. Yeah, just crazy. Super dark towards the middle. Gorgeous, look at that. Looks like orange juice away from the light. It looks like just fresh squeezed pineapple juice, orange juice. Completely looks like a Treehouse or Trillium beer. Uh, just completely New England style, of course. Uh, Hill Farmstead style, uh, where Alpine style would typically be clear, but obviously we're, this was brewed in uh, Hill Farmstead. So let's go ahead and get an aroma and the temperature on this is perfect right now, by the way. Let's get an aroma on the Mutual Admiration. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, man. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, I can already tell this is gonna be one of those reviews where I don't wanna talk. That aroma is beautiful. It's just beautiful. Oh my God, that is absolutely insane, guys. Holy crap. It's so juicy, juicy. I can't even talk. This one's like a gusher in the way of being extremely juicy. Um, just wow. Hashtag Eric Wood on that one. Gusher. Oh my God. It smells like they just took a bunch of like stone fruits, peaches, apricots, plums, like all those just beautiful stone fruits and they threw them, they cut them up, threw them in a blender. It smells like fresh squeezed orange juice, fresh squeezed pineapple juice, mangoes, papaya, just this like really rich, sweet, juicy, totally making my mouth water. I mean, it's ridiculous. It really just smells like juice. This, if you gave this to me blind, I would tell you it's a treehouse beer. I would tell you it's a treehouse beer, 110%. No dankness no dankness whatsoever. I'm getting like dried apricots, um, just basically every tropical fruit and citrus fruit kind of thing. Complete juice bomb. Zero, and I mean zero, zero, zero dankness. No grassiness, no herbalness. Just smells like juice. Um, no alcohol, you know, obviously in the aroma, 6.4%. Sweet, juicy, it smells like juice. This is one of the best smelling Hill Farmstead beers I've ever, ever, ever smelled. It doesn't, it smells like Treehouse. Like, it seriously is like someone swapped my growler. It's crazy. And it's big in the aroma. Typically, Hill Farmstead is very, um, well, not, I don't say very, but more subdued uh, than and more soft in the aroma than, than most other breweries. Guys, let's get a sip on this. Cheers. Holy shit. That is insanity. That is insanity. Wow. I need another sip. Holy shit, that's good. That's so good. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm geeking out, but this series is seriously amazing. Um, I'm getting a ton of melon, honeydew melon, watermelon, uh, cantaloupe, just fresh melon. Wow, as I'm talking now, the hoppiness is really, really coming in. So hoppy, drying on the palate, not bitter. Super, super hoppy, aggressive but not bitter. Really, really, really reminds me of a treehouse juice bomb, like Julius or something like that, or like one of the curiosities. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of Pseudo Sue, actually from like back in the day, when it was really like at its peak for a while there. It reminds me a lot of that super like melon forward, peachy apricot kind of thing. And it is just so juicy. Again, just like the aroma. Um, wow, Nelson Citra 
Amarillo and Mosaic in this beer. And I really feel like you can taste all of it. I mean, it's just combining this uh, like intensely aggressive juice bomb, aggressively hopped, so crushable, um, just matches the aroma perfectly. Pretty much every kind of like tropical fruit and citrus fruit you can think of, but I think more so, definitely that citrus is pretty prominent. Um, you know, I'm not getting too much of that white wine character from the Nelson. I'm definitely getting a super bright, I'm, I'm picking up more of that, like Amarillo, more of that just like super vibrant, kind of bright citrus, uh, zesty kind of notes. And the Mosaic, I mean, who the hell knows? It just could be anywhere. It's like Mosaic could be giving it the juiciness, the tropicalness, it could be giving it anything because Mosaic is awesome, works well with other hops. So I'm getting this hint in the background of this slight like tea, um, slight like tea-like flavor, like herbal tea. Oh, which I sometimes pick up in actually a lot of Phil Farmstead's beers. I'm not sure if it's the yeast um, or the water or whatever, but I do pick up that little bit of like tea, herbal tea type thing, but it's complete freaking juice bomb, completely crushable. I had no idea this beer would be this good. I mean, I, I should have expected it, but Typically, Hill Farmstead beers are a little bit softer on the palate, a little bit, um, I don't want to say it, but like a little bit lighter in flavor sometimes. And this one is just like punch you in the face with flavors. It's amazing. It's got a nice, you know, slightly creamy mouthfeel. It's not overly thick or anything like that, but it has a creamy mouthfeel. Carbonation's pretty nice, pretty uh, low, lower side of um, medium, maybe like that. And it just drinks like, uh, like, I mean, it's ridiculous. You could crush this growler in in like a half hour flat or less. I mean, it's just so good. The more I'm drinking it too now, I'm picking up more of that mosaic. I'm picking up some blueberry, mixed berry kind of note, which I get in mosaic a lot now. Now that I've gotten to learn that hop a little bit more, um, kind of the flavors I'm used to, definitely picking up a little bit of that mixed berry with that melon, cantaloupe, peach, apricot, dried apricots. I mean, you can imagine what, with what I'm telling you what this tastes like. It's just, it's pretty amazing stuff. Finish is super dry in the palate too. Super dry, no bitterness, just that hot bite that you want uh, drying out your palate. That's pretty much it. Um, the leftover flavor is just hops. I mean, it does, it's not bitter. It's, it's just really, really well crafted, guys. I get sort of a slight grain, um, a slight bready kind of grainy thing mid palate to finish. It's just kind of raw, um, kind of in your face. And it really is, man, as far as an I single IPA goes, the amount of flavor that's in this, I mean, again, it reminds me of, of just something from Treehouse, like the best Treehouse. Um, it reminds me of, of um, you know, something from Trillium. That, that's not on the dank side, something that's just total juice bomb. I mean, this is up another level from what I think I've experienced from Hill Farmstead personally as of late with the expansion. Um, and you know, the batch, some of the batches of their beers have been uh, a little hit or miss depending on the beer. But obviously this is like a one-off and it was a collaboration. I don't know the batch size on this, but they just killed this beer together, uh, especially for one uh, collaboration that was pretty much unexpected. And the hop combination in this, again, um, you've got Nelson Sauvin, Citra, Amarillo, and Mosaic. I mean, it's gonna be loaded with incredible juice bomb flavors. Um, you know, the only one I don't pick up a ton of is the Nelson Sauvin. I don't pick up a ton of that, you know, white wine, uh, grape kind of character, but that the grape character could possibly be in that mixed berry kind of thing. I get a, I get a little bit of it, if I really search for it, a little astringent kind of thing that you would pick up from like that white grape, white wine in the aroma. Man, it's just, it's like berries and juice. Definitely a little bit more of that blueberry on the on the palate now too, with that melon peachiness. Just incredible stuff, guys. I mean, I'm not trying to hype this beer up at all, and I really wasn't because I didn't know about it. 
until I literally got up there uh, to Hill Farmstead. So, you know, this is not one of those big announce, announce releases, and this is just blowing my freaking mind. Um, so let me sip on it for another few minutes, and I'll come back with my final thoughts and score on this beer. But for a single IPA, guys, it's going to be hard to seriously beat this one. Um, yeah, let me sip on it. I'll come right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I just realized I hope you enjoyed uh, Jack in the background there during the first half. Uh, he's making a rare appearance tonight, and uh, it's kind of nice to have him just chilling in the back there with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at him for the first half. Maybe he was more exciting to look at than me. Um, definitely a lot cuter. So anyways, guys, um, this beer is absolutely amazing. Um, this is... I don't know why I, I this just it, it's hitting all it's hitting all the spots for me right now. This is just one of the best single IPAs I've ever had. It really is. Um, it's saying a lot, I know, and and like I said, it reminds me a lot of a treehouse beer, um, in just the fact that it's a complete juice bomb, hot bomb. Uh, and I was thinking about. Uh, you know, it's a little because Hill Farmstead again is typically a little bit more soft and subtle uh, with their flavors, and this one is just kind of like punch you in the face. And I think that's sort of like what Pat brought to this beer. It's just a little bit more amped up, which is you know the West Coast way of you know kind of overdoing everything in a way and just amping it up to the next level. And I think that went into play here with the just over the top flavors of the hops they were using and also the actual hoppiness in this beer it's it, it's like the hoppiness almost of a double ipa and i think that would also be contributing uh, a contributing factor from pat from alpine because it smells really really like big and juicy and then it's big and juicy but also an extremely hoppy single ipa but yeah this just com I, I mean i have to keep saying it it tastes like it could be Julius or Green or a Treehouse uh, Curiosity beer. That's really, honestly, if you blindfolded me and, and I taste tested this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you this was Hill Farmstead. So that's really, really cool that, um, you know, the way that uh, Pat and Sean put this beer together, I definitely can feel like they took you know, both both sides of their brewing and, and made a beer, even though it's more New England style, obviously, it's more East Coast, you know, uh, style, it still has some of those West Coast characteristics being very, very hoppy, being very over the top in some ways. Um, and that just plays into that juiciness and that uh, just, it's just an intense character to it, but it's still a complete juice bomb. Um, and, and it's just, it's a wonderful beer. So anyways, guys, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm really just, I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm shocked, but I'm just shocked how freaking mind-blowing this beer is, to be, to be quite honest with you. So on Beer Advocate, guys, it doesn't have enough ratings. Um, it's just been out for a few days now, and I don't know how many people got their hands on it. And it's still on tap of the brewery uh, as of when I'm posting this, I believe. So you can either ask somebody to get it for you, go get it yourself, or trade for it if it's uh, you know something you really want to try. You would love this beer if you love Treehouse or Trillium or any of the New England style beers because it's totally there. I mean, it's 100% there, 1,000%. Um, the only thing about this beer I would say is the mouthfeel could be a little richer, just a, just a touch richer on the mouthfeel, but... Other than that, this beer is literally perfect. I mean, literally, it's perfect. So, as far as the score, guys, it's gonna get 100 out of 100 for me. Um, I'm almost leaning going the 100 plus on this, that just how freaking good it is. Um, I'd put this in my top, I'd probably put this in my top five single IPAs ever. Uh, I would not even like hesitate about that, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is like top five IPA ever for me. Even as it's like, I mean, seriously, it's like almost room temperature now. Still, I'm not getting really any dankness. Just juice and hops from Hill Farmstead. It is very, very rare and very, very cool. Um, so yeah, 
Alpine and Hill Farmstead, mutual admiration. Fucking incredible. I don't know what else to say, guys. It's 100 out of 100. Please let me know if you were lucky enough to get this beer, if you're gonna get this beer. I suggest you do it very quickly um, for, for one thing, freshness sake, um, and it, yeah, it's just gonna be gone. So get your hands on the mutual admiration if you can. I doubt they'll ever brew this again. This is like a one-time thing probably, but um, I highly suggest you trade, do whatever you gotta do to get a growl out of this, guys. Um, it's not very hyped, so I don't know if it's trading lower than usual because of that, um, but whatever. Uh, do what you gotta do to get it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, as always. And this was really fun to talk about this beer with you um, because I was very excited about it as well. So thanks. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next beer review, guys. Cheers.